Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mattel Jurassic World toy review and today we're going to be looking at the new Jurassic World Dominion War Strikers Triceratops. I got this figure on sale at Target for $8.99. It's on sale right now at Target if you want to get it on the discount. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to buy this figure for yourself. Now, but anyways, I really like this figure. Um... There are some people out there that probably won't probably won't care too much about getting the figure at all because there are like a lot of Triceratops figures that we've gotten in the past. And not only that, but we're also getting even more Triceratops figures as well. Not just in this lineup, but we also got the, um, well, we got the Hammond Collection Triceratops figure and that figure is really good, but there is no... There's no articulation in the jaw or the mouth, so that's a really pain in the butt for that. But anyways, we're going to be, and also we're going to be getting another War Striker Triceratops figure. It's the same exact figure as this one, but it's a different color and it actually looks better than this one. But anyways, let's go with the box art of this figure. First, you got the Triceratops line. The War Strikers wave. Then you got the Jurassic World Dominion logo over there. Mattel logo down here. The barcode. Then you got the the really good Rexy render on the front of the box. Then you got the Dominion logo on the top with the Power Raptor render, which looks really cool. Then you also got the logo again on the top of the box. And over here it's a uh, not of the logo, except it doesn't say the name of the movie. And you got... Oh, no, hold on, let's see. Right. You got the, um, got the speaker logo up there. Then up here it tells you how you can scan the code up there. And now... Let's go to the back. These are... Okay, so these are all the figures in Wave 1 of War Strikers. You got the Ragosaurus, the Scorpio Venator, and Ankylosaurus. I already have the Ankylosaurus. I did a review on that. If you want to go see that review, go check it out if you want to. Then you got the whole back with the action feature of how the Triceratops works. And you got, it says, press down and roar. Again, skin code. Roar Strikers. And it says the Mattel logo. Now... These three figures, including this one, this is wave one. So we got these two dinosaurs that we've already gotten before. And then we got these two new species that we've never gotten before from, from Mattel. So, so, yeah. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to unbox this figure. And we're going to take a closer look at this toy. All right, so here it is. The Triceratops figure out of the box. The tail is not attached while it is in there. It is, it's in the box, but it's like in like these little small strips of plastic. And this is what the tail is. And the tail is like this. You just put it in there. And to hear that click, Tommy, me, wait. Yeah. Push it in there, okay. So this is the Tricer top figure. This, the tail in there is permanent, so you can never take it off unless if you break it off, but that's not good. But anyway, this is the Triceratops. I gotta say, this figure is, for some reason, it's one of my favorite Triceratops figures that were made. However, well, here's the thing. The colors that they picked for, like, green, and they put, like, brown on the frill. They put some brown, like, like this, and they put it on the back region. From like one spot, two part, two spots, three spots, brown on the back region. However, the problem is, is that this like the paint apps are just lazy. Like they're just lazy. They could have picked. It's not the colors that they picked for. The colors were fine. I think the colors look nice with like with like green and brown. I think it looks nice that way. But the problem is they didn't put enough brown on the back region. They didn't even put it, they didn't even put enough brown on the figure at all. They didn't put enough because 
The only part, it's only on the back in the frill. You know, they could have put it, they could have put it like right there by where the rib cage is. They could have put it down here. They could have put a little splash of brown on the, on the, uh, on the hip. They could have did that. They could have did the same thing with the shoulder region over here. They could have put it all the way down past where the tail is. They could have put the brown color all the way down here. Well, yeah, they could have done that. And this figure is the same exact. It is the same exact mold as the previous Triceratops figures that we've gotten. The first Triceratops figure that we got was the Roarvors Fallen Kingdom Triceratops. That one was, I think it was, I don't have that figure and I'm probably never going to get it because it's actually not that easy to get. You can get it off of Amazon, but it costs like around 70 or $80 because the figure is like four years old. And then you got, so you got that figure. I think it's like orange or it's like a brownish or orange color. That that was the color of the Fallen Kingdom Triceratops. And then we got some other Triceratops figures that came out. But I'm not going to go over them because we're talking about this one today. So I really like what they did to the, the horns look nice. The overall, the overall color of the figure is just green. Again, paint application is lazy. You got the you got the eyes right there. The pupil of those eyes are not really colored in. They're just the same color as the background, as the entire background color of the figure, which is green. So basically, this figure has the green pupils. Like, they didn't really like, like, I don't know, like they could have did a better job with the eye color. Because all they did was put an overall color of the eyeball, and then that's all they did. They didn't really put an iris color. So, therefore, the iris color or the pupil color is green, just like the skin color. The horns are like, they're a little bit like a really dark white or something. Looks more natural. Then, because there are some other Triceratops figures that have a... A totally 100% white color of the horns and I think this color of the horns actually look better they put a little bit of scratch marks on the horns looks really cool they got the beak colored in um they got the detail the detail on this figure is pretty much basic it looks nice so then this figure is articulated you can do this oh yeah you can swivel the front legs in and out a little bit, not too far, but in and out. Then you got the other leg. The other leg can do the same thing. And then you got the back leg. It doesn't have any articulation. I mean, actually, no, yes, it does. Yes, it does. It can do this. So that looks funny. But anyway, I think you can rotate it. Oh, never mind. You can rotate it like that if you want to. And then it locks in like this. If that part wasn't in the way, you would be able to like rotate it 360. Basically, you can't because that is blocking it. It can click in. I really, I really like how the legs can like click in into a pose where you want to put it at. That's, that's really nice how they did that. Oh, yeah. And also the tail is rotated as well. You can rotate the tail if you want to. Oh yeah, and um the nose. They got the little nostrils. But anyway, let's get to the action feature of this figure. So oh yeah, and also they put the um they put the scan code. Hold on, I'm trying. It's really hard to get the scan code out. So yeah, there's the scan code. If you want to scan this dinosaur into your Jurassic World Facts app, you can do that right here. And But anyways, let's get to the Roar Strikers action feature. Now the line of Roar Strikers, it's like, it's really similar to all the other $15 lineups, but it is a lot better because instead of them because here's the thing, instead of having a button to press down for the action feature, 
they didn't have to ruin the mode by putting in buttons. They didn't even have to put any buttons on this figure after all. So instead, what they did was did this. It makes three sound effects. There's the first sound. There's the second sound, and now there's here's the third sound. Now, to be honest though, I don't really pay a too much attention to the Triceratops sound effects. So I'm just gonna say this, I don't really remember if those are the sound effects that the Triceratops makes through the films. I mean, it does make, there are some noises that I am familiar of with this dinosaur, but the sounds that it made right there, I don't know if those sound familiar to this, to these dinosaur species in the movie. Again, I don't really pay attention to the Triceratops sounds, but I probably will in the future, I don't really know. But then again, they painted, well, they didn't really paint this, but they put the, there's the, um, the claws, well, they're not really claws, but they're still nails or whatever. They did not paint these. And then they also, there's also some holes into, this is the reason why it was a pain to take it out of the package because of that, that's why. They locked it into the, into the packaging and I had to spend like 10 minutes trying to take it out, but then there's the speaker, there's the battery, and um, yeah, so I, so my overall view about this figure is that I like it, I really like it, um, the paint apps are not as good as it's supposed to, but the colors that they picked for the paint apps is really nice. I really like how they picked some type of shade of green because we have a green triceratops figure, but it's a battle damage one. It's not really a main line one. But anyways, um, we have two green triceratops figures, but one of them is a battle damage and then you got this one. So I gotta say, this is one of my, for some reason, this is one of my favorite um, Triceratops figures, but it's probably not my top favorite one. This is excluding, this is excluding the uh, Hammer Collection Triceratops because you cannot compare that figure to the main line figures because that is a, that is part of a totally new and improved different lineup that is way better than these ones and I don't want to compare that one to the main line Triceratops figures or the trikes. So... Yeah, but the next Triceratops figure that comes out, it's another, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, it is another Royal Strikers Triceratops figure, and it looks better than this one. I forgot, I don't remember all the colors that they picked on them. I, just, I have seen them. I have seen render images of this new Triceratops figure. I don't know when it comes out. It probably comes out in stores next month, but from now... I'm just gonna stick to this Triceratops figure, also known as my first one. But anyways, um, yeah. Now, let's start off with some dinosaur comparisons to this figure. Okay, so this is a, this is a comparison that I really wanted to do for a long time now, but. This comparison a little bit disappoints me, but I'm just going to compare it to the figure that I have. I'm just going to compare it to the Sinoceratops. And as you can tell, this Triceratops figure is smaller than this Sinoceratops figure. And it really doesn't make any sense because just like all the other... Well, let me explain. Hold on. Let me explain. So... The main criticism that people talk about with the Triceratops figure, not just this one, but also the other ones that came out in the past, is that they're too small. Like, really, they're too small. If you compare them to a T-Rex figure, or like a mainline T-Rex figure, it is too damn small. Like, I get disappointed every time I... Like, if you just hold this figure in your hand, it's not heavy at all. It's really light, and it's not... Now, this Sonoceratops figure right here is actually heavy. 
it's actually a heavy medium sized figure while this triceratops figure is very light now if you compare them side by side they're the same color it's the same exact color it's a little bit of a different shade of green slightly but it's barely to use it so but really the Sinoceratops is not really bigger than Triceratops in the movies. They are both the same. I actually know. I think Triceratops is bigger than Sinoceratops in the films. But sometimes it looks like that both of them are the same size in some appearances throughout the Fallen Kingdom. But um But anyway, I don't want to like get angry about that, but so yeah, that is the comparison of Sinoceratops and Trike. Now let's go on to the next comparison. Now the next comparison that I wanna do is, well, the War Strikers and Kylosaurus. And as you can tell, the Ankylosaurus is smaller than this Triceratops figure, which is actually accurate because the Ankylosaurus is not as big as Trike and this is also, it's wave made as well. So, yeah, there's the Ankylosaurus comparison between it. Now, here it is compared to the Dino Escape Sauropelta. This figure is, well, very small compared to it. And it was a small Ankylosaur. Then here it is compared to the Mega Destroyer's Dino Escape Carcarontosaurus, and this figure is, well, obviously bigger than the trike. And this is the comparison. And now for the big one, this is the Triceratops compared to the Dino Escape Stomping. Wait, I'm just going to say it, but this is it compared to the Dino Escape T-Rex. So... There it is compared to it. As you can tell, this figure is way too small compared to it. The, tri the mainline Triceratops figures need to be a little bit bigger. That way they're accurately compared to the T-Rex because these things were not that small compared to it at all. Here is it compared to the Camp Cretaceous Stiggy Malik. And the last... This is it compared to the Kentosaurus. And this figure is bigger. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a little bit bigger than the, um, than the, uh, Triceratops. Okay, now it's the overall view of this figure. I gotta say that I really like this. Yeah, like I said earlier, I like this figure. Now, they could have done, yeah, they could have done a good job or a better job with the paint apps, but the paint apps are just, just lazy. They barely put, again, they could have put some on the, the brown color. They could have just put it in on the rib cage, the legs, the front hip uh, region, and then they could have put it on the tail, which could have been the best part, but no, they just didn't do that. I don't know why, but they just don't. Oh yeah, and also they could have put a little bit of it under side of the um, figure, which could have looked it nice. So yeah, um, there's the scan code. But anyways, there it was with the War Strikers Triceratops review. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, hit the thumbs up button, share this with your friends or family. I don't really know. Um, if you want this figure for yourself, I'll leave a link to i'm going to leave a link to target just like like hurry up and get the figure on sale if you do want it on sale it is on sale like right now but if you want it for the sale price i'm going to leave a link in the description to target so you can buy it for yourself or you can just go to target and get it up there i rather just i highly recommend just going to target and just getting it because but anyways if you don't want to leave the house or whatever just Get the link in the description and go to Target's website and buy it from there. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow my Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. But 
I don't really you know what forget the Twitch. I don't really stream on there anyway. But anyways, I see you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye.